Meltdown and Spectre were discovered in the middle of 2017 by three separate teams, including a team at Google's Project Zero. It was disclosed under NDA to chip vendors and then operating system manufacturers that started working on patches. The vulnerabilities were first reported by the register on January 2nd, 2018, and the links to the publications are below. There are really three variants of this vulnerability. The first two are referenced as Spectre. The last one is called Meltdown. All three abuse a flaw in speculative execution, which I will explain briefly in a moment. The flaw is in the processor itself, and many pieces of hardware are affected. Intel is the hardest hit, as most of its processors produced in the last 20 years are susceptible to the flaw. Some ARM Cortex cores are affected, but many of these processors are only deployed in, in environments where the running processes are very strictly controlled. So the vulnerability cannot be exploited. AMD is only susceptible to one variant, the bounce check bypass, which can be resolved by software patches, which will have negligible performance impact. Because of the architecture of ARM systems, other variants do not apply. A computer's processor executes instructions, operations such as addition, multiplication, comparison, etc. To run faster, many modern processors can execute multiple instructions in parallel in one cycle using multiple pipelines. Think of a friend helping out with building a model. In order to fill its pipelines with something to do, a processor may speculate which instructions might be needed to execute in the future. If it guesses incorrectly, that's typically fine, we just discard the result. If the speculation is correct, we just saved ourselves processor cycles. Another mechanism that a processor uses is caching. Because it takes a relatively long time to retrieve items from memory, a processor will have some small amount of memory very close by. Think of this as another friend retrieving bricks from your bin and putting them on the table. You will guess which brick to prepare by looking at what you have just used. Now, let's say you want to find out about a certain brick that you're not allowed to see. Because you recently asked for similar bricks, this one is waiting in the cache. Now, let's say you start assembly of the blue bricks and suggest you're looking for, let's say, something red next. Your friend assembles red bricks in parallel to get them ready. But remember, you're not allowed to see this piece. How do you know what color it is? Simply measure how long the assembly took. If speculative execution, I mean your friend, was quick, then the red brick was in the cache, I mean on the table. If the assembly took longer, then the red brick wasn't on the table, and so had to be retrieved from the bin. If your guess was incorrect, just keep checking other colors to see what was cached. This is called a side channel attack, gaining information indirectly, in this case, judging by the speed of execution. What sort of information can be gained? Well, this varies across the three variants, but in the worst case scenario, it's going to be sensitive information such as encryption keys or passwords. Links to all of these are below in the video's description. Microsoft has issued advisory ADV 180002 and has published updates for its operating systems and some software. In the case of Apple devices, for Meltdown, macOS is fixed in version 10.13.2 and iOS in version 11.2. For Spectre, the Safari browser will be patched within the next few days. If you're running on Linux, you probably already know kernel 4.15rc6 has the kernel page table isolation fix enabled, and this fix has been backported to some earlier versions. You should also be on the lookout for patches coming directly from your equipment manufacturers, such as HP, Lenovo, Dell. Install them as soon as they become available. There is a slight performance penalty after this patch is installed, but that will be negligible for office workloads or even gaming PCs, so don't worry. While a proof of concept was demonstrated, there's currently no known malware that uses the described vulnerabilities. As any future malware will have to run locally on the impacted system, just adhere to common security practices. Don't run unknown software, don't click on unknown links, and keep your system patched.
stay safe.